See you guys, this is what we love. An easy game. No question marks, no concerns, no injuries. Just, you know, straightforward Thursday night football in week seven. Which is exactly what this is not. We don't even know if Trevor Lawrence is playing. I'm Dave Locker with Odd Shopper, by the way. Happy to have you guys with us. Uh, hit that thumbs up, subscribe. If you appreciate this free content. And before we get into anything, I'll say this. Hit me up on Twitter at Lafay underscore D because Trevor Lawrence is questionable right now. I'm going to be looking for props. If I find them, you know I'll put them there. That's where to find me if we're not here on the YouTubes, L-O-U-G-H-Y underscore D. But let's get straight into the action because I'm not, I'll spare you the pleasantries. It's a pretty, pretty straightforward in one sense that nothing is straightforward about this game. Ian Rappaport, Adam Schefter tweeted out earlier today that Trevor Lawrence is going to, you know, work out the warm him up in, in warm ups and see how it is. And he is probably going to be a legitimate game time decision. That's what's being said right now. Saints are laying two at home in the dome coming off an ugly loss against Houston. And honestly, if you watch that game, they had every, every chance to win that. But Derek Carr, I mean, this guy stinks. You should have stuck with Jameis Winston or Andy Dalton at this point. What difference does it really make? 40 point total here as well. It would be CJ Beathard starting if it's not Trevor Lawrence. The question that we all have to ask ourselves, and this may be an instinctual thing from your guys' perspective, right? Tail these picks, let's do it. If not, I get it, especially on a day like today. But I do have some props that I like a lot too, so we'll get into that. But here's what I mean by that, right? If you think that Trevor Lawrence is going to play, all right, that's one piece of the puzzle. If you think that Trevor Lawrence is going to play, you also have to try to navigate whether or not he's going to be healthy enough or not, right? Like, this is a guy that he's no Lamar Jackson or Jalen Hurts on the ground, but he is mobile enough, right? He is mobile enough to be a threat. We've seen it. He's got 20-plus rushing yards and I think, all but one game. He can pick up uh, yards when he needs to on the ground. You got a knee sprain that happened on Sunday, right? They spent two weeks in London, got both wins, came back, took care of a Colts team that was with Gardner Minshew, who turned into a pumpkin again uh, and had a depleted secondary for the Colts. And now you've got this where you could be out two starting offensive linemen for the Jags. Trevor Lawrence could or may or may not play. And if he does play, he may not be 100%. So honestly, given how all of these primetime games, not all of them, many of these primetime games are going under this year, I think the first place that we might want to look is under 40 right now. Now, obviously, um, if, you, if, if you can, look around, search books. I'll, I'll tell you how to get free money from one in a second, which if you're in these states, you should 100% do it because free money and the ability to shop odds at multiple books is huge. But I'm seeing 40s out there. Like FanDuel's got 39 and a half, but uh, DraftKings, Bet365, Caesars, BetMGM, all of them at 40 right now, standard minus 110 on that. I think the lean there would probably be under 40 for two reasons. One, Trevor Lawrence might not be fully healthy. If he is, the Saints defense is still absurdly good. Two, Trevor Lawrence might not play. And then three, the Saints offense hasn't been good either. I mean, Derek Carr has been bad. Alvin Kamara is getting a ton of volume, which is cool. If you want to bet some over props on volume, you could do that. But here's another wrinkle, guys. Jamal Williams is expected to play today. And they brought him in. Um, they brought him in so he could just be, you know, the next Mark Ingram. That's a tough spot. So the under looks good here. But another thing, too, the Saints on totals this year are 0-6 to the over. So all six games have gone under for the Saints. Under 42, 39, 41 and a half, 41 and a half, under 40, under 41. We're not talking under 50s here. We're talking the highest total they've had is 42. They've gone under a 39, under a 40, under a 41, two 41s and a half. 41 and a half, you know? Jags are three and three on the total. Now, you look at it, it makes sense though. Uh, the Saints don't score a lot of points. They can't, unless you're facing the the the, the Patriots and they still went under because they held them to zero, but they don't allow a lot of points. They have an excellent run defense. They have a great pass rush, which could be huge against the potentially depleted O-line for the Jags and a banged up Trevor Lawrence or C.J. Beathard, and they have a great secondary. So under would be the lean. And if you're going sides, you, you have to lean the Saints minus two at this point. 
It's going to fluctuate. This could get even bigger if Trevor Lawrence is out, and it likely will. But right now, the under 40 seems like the best spot with all of the uncertainty that we have. Now, let's get into some props. All right, as I mentioned uh, on Twitter, Lafay underscore D, you can follow me. I'll throw props out there today. I think we'll have more. The two spots I want to look at, here's the two spots. And guys, I can't stress to you enough. If you're in these six states, if you're not, feel free to fast forward to the props. If you're in these six states, please listen to me because it's going to change the way you bet. And it's going to turn tonight into a winning night, even if you lose. And what a shitty night for a lot of bets with all of the uncertainty. If you're in Colorado, Virginia, New Jersey, Iowa, Ohio, or Kentucky, you're getting $150 when you bet five bucks on Bet365. It's that simple. If you're in Kentucky, you're getting $365 when you bet $1. Here's what you do. It's gonna take you two minutes. Hell, you could be sitting down on the can, scrolling through mindless Instagram posts, or you could be making money. Make time, make, <laughs> make money out of anything you're doing, even if it's something you thought was impossible. Go and use the link in the description or the one in chat, right? Click that or in the pin comment, click that. It takes you two minutes. You're going to sign up, deposit, verify yourself. Two minute process, put down a $5 bet on a $10 deposit. You only have to bet five bucks on a $10 deposit. If you're in Kentucky, bet $1 on a $10 deposit. If you're in Colorado, New Jersey, Virginia, Ohio, or Iowa, you're making 150 bucks in two minutes, in two minutes. 75 bucks a minute. If you're in Kentucky, you're making 365 bucks on a $1 bet. It's the easiest money you're going to find. And besides that, they want to give you free money to get you over there, especially Bet365. They're new to the states. Coming to three more states soon, so be aware if you're one of them. Um, but also, now you can find props and touchdown props, and you can find odds that are better for you instead of just betting at one book. So you're getting free money. You can win today whether you win or lose. And you're making sure to always get the best lines. Bet365, link in the description and in the pinned comment. If you're in one of those six states, take the free money, collect. You're not going to get that anywhere else. All right, on to the props. I've got two. One, Travis Etienne over 16 and a half rushing attempts. Why? Two reasons. The Saints offense is not very good. They're going to provide, even though they have a good run defense, I think they're going to provide opponents with the ability to not get crazy, unless you're the Patriots, not get crazy, and try to keep a balanced offense. If that's the point, if that's what we see here, who better than Travis Etienne, who has more touches than any running back in the league all season long? Yes, Travis Etienne has more touches than any running back in the league. He's playing 80 plus percent of snaps every week. Tanks Bigsby is an afterthought at this point. Now, again, when I say shop odds, rushing attempts prop on bet 365 is 16 and a half. On DraftKings, it's 16 and a half. In other books, it's 17 and a half. That one rushing prop, that one that one rush is huge, guys. It's huge. You could finish with 17 and lose, or you could finish with 17 rushing attempts and win. That is one. The next one is going to be Tank Bigsby under 11 and a half rushing yards. They just haven't used him a lot at all. His, his snap counts continue to be in the dumpster, number one, especially in competitive games, which this absolutely should be. And not only that, the Saints, like we said, we don't care if Travis Etienne is particularly efficient. With Tank Bigsby, it matters. With Tank Bigsby going up against this defensive line and this defense that's allowing less than four yards per attempt, and also a guy in Tank Bigsby who in the opportunities he is getting, few and far between, has been super inefficient with them. Three attempts, two yards. Three attempts, eight yards. Three attempts, 10 yards. Two attempts, 10 yards. Seven attempts for 13 yards is his best rushing performance raw totals since week one he hasn't gone over 10 yards or three attempts since week one give me tank bigsby under 11 and a half rushing yards and uh if we were to throw out a random touchdown prop there's nothing great but i would say michael thomas at plus 240 he essentially since alvin Kamara returned has the same target share as chris olave this team just stinks in the red zone so that's the only concern i would love to go evan ingram i would love to go evan ingram here at plus 300 because he is essentially matching Christian Kirk and Calvin Ridley in target share this season and has eight plus targets or seven plus targets in all but one game. But it might be CJ Beathard. And I don't want to just give you guys garbage if I, if I don't have any conviction in it. So that's where we stand. 
Appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll see you back here for Monday Night Football. My picks for every game video is already on the channel. Good luck tonight. Enjoy this disaster. We wouldn't be watching it if we weren't betting or a Jags or Saints fan. So I'll see you guys back here for the next one. Peace.